What's up guys, welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys were asking me how do I manage memory uh, with a slow PC. So today we are going to talk about memory optimization. Uh, before jumping into the video, if you have any doubts, uh, feel free to drop a message uh, in my Instagram at uh, josephinothk, uh, it will be anywhere here. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, uh, we are in the full studio right now. So the first tip I'm going to tell you is use your native Ozio or if you have an audio interface use its own audio uh, go to options audio settings and under devices you can see list of audios that you have installed if you have an uh, audio interface use its own audio no problem or if you don't have an audio uh, audio interface use fl studios audio and it's going to give you the best output and the second tip I'm going to give you is if you have an audio interface connect it directly uh, to your computer's USB. I see some of you all connecting it through a USB hub and that's not advisable. Alright. Alright. The third tip is buffer size. What is buffer size and why is it so important? When recording audio into your computer, your sound card uh, needs some time to process the incoming information. The amount of time allotted for processing the incoming audio is called the buffer size. Uh, does that make sense? If not, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example and that's gonna make sense to you. And uh, I'm gonna close this right now and I have a melody. I'm gonna drop it here. Uh, this is the melody that I have and I'm gonna go to audio settings and under this audio you can, under the devices you can see buffer length. I'm gonna play back the audio no problem you you don't hear pops and cracks uh, just uh, listen to the audio when I reduce the buffer size uh, it's disgusting right uh, when I reduce the buffer length uh, it's uh, giving me uh, pops and cracks and you can see the under runs are increasing so uh, what it does uh, it has less time to process the incoming information and it gives you pops and cracks. So how to solve it? It's simple. You just increase the buffer size. So uh, there is a limitation here. The more buffer size you have, the more lag you will experience while playing back the audio and it affects your, and it affects your uh, performance while recording audio or playing through your MIDI device. If you listen closely and, or if you watch closely, there is a little lag uh, before starting, before the audio is uh, playing. You see that right? Uh, it will be more uh, when I increase the buffer size. You see that right? So that's the limitation here. You just make sure you are well balanced. I mean, you balance it uh, for your performance, if that makes sense. All right. So the fourth tip is if you are on Windows, make sure uh, your power option it's, uh, is set to high performance. What it does is let your uh, CPU run in its full potential and allows a full studio to process more information. And also make sure uh, the maximum power state is at 100%. So what I mean by that, you just go to power options or you can go through uh, control panel and you see uh, the my power option is set to high performance and make sure uh, you go to advanced options and make sure um, where is it the processing power management the maximum power state is set to 100 percent and what it does is it lets your uh, process to processor to run at its full potential all right so let me close this and the fifth tip is PPQ pulses per quarter note what it does it basically controls the maximum zoom in your uh, playlist higher PPQ allows you to zoom further so let me show you what I mean by that if you go to project you see time based PPQ so this is what I'm talking about I've set it to 98 and uh, what it does is if you zoom closely you can see right uh, this is uh, this is the maximum I can zoom so if you want to zoom further you can go to project and increase it see I can zoom further so the more PPQ it uh, the more uh, processing power it takes so make sure it's on uh, right amount all right so 96 is uh, 96 works best for me and the fifth tip is smart disable and uh, this will disable effects and instruments when they are not in use and can decrease CPU usage significantly. You can do this in two ways. 
you can do this individually so let me open up uh, nexus so if you go to your uh, this plugin wrapper settings and you can see smart disable you can do that so what it does is when this uh, nexus is not in use fl studio is going to turn it off if you have so many plugins and uh, you don't have to manually go and individually go and uh, disable everything so uh, if you want to disable it on the whole you go to settings macros and smart disable for all plugins and what it does is it uh, enables smart disable for all the plugins that you have it works for generators that means the instruments and also in the fx this final tip is a lifesaver when you are using uh, plugins like omnisphere 2 a contact or serum they tend to consume more cp to avoid that uh, what i do is to convert the pattern into audio clips working with uh, with audio clips consumes uh, less memory you can implement this uh, technique in multiple ways you can re record this uh, audio into edison or you can discom record the mixer track i personally prefer recording my audio into edison once i'm satisfied with the melody and the sound selection i'll insert the plugin into a mixer track and i'll open up edison and record the audio into it i'll select play And once I'm done, I'll select the audio and I'll drag and drop into my playlist and I'll continue working on top of it. So doing this uh, to all of my plugins saves more CPU and leave room for me to mix and master in the same project. So make sure you use these tips and next time when you're running out of CPU. So that's it guys, I hope you find this video helpful. If yes, please uh, drop a like and share this video with your friends who may find this video helpful. And also don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel and follow me on Instagram because uh, once I reach 4000 subscribers, I'm going to be dropping a drum kit which is for free. And this drum kit is going to be uh, super lit and dope, alright? So that's it, see you in the next video. Until then, you keep grinding and I'm Jovi signing off. Peace.